Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I know I keep complaining about this camera. I have a new one in mind. When this one goes, I have another one that I plan to buy that is fully automatic. This one, you have to set all the settings and you have to change them like when you go inside or when you come outside. It's just, it's automatic, but it's super annoying. But anyways, welcome to today. I apologize for if it gets dark on the camera. I can't always notice. I don't always notice. Anyway, welcome to today. It is Monday. And it's Easter, it's Easter Monday, so it's a holiday. It's a holiday for the girls. It's a holiday for everyone, except Sam and I, because we're farmers. <laughs> the girls have been so busy helping us. Shoot, I let the chickens out. This is not gonna be good. Hey, stay there. Stay there. You're going back in, in. Get in there. Oh, listen you. Oh. <laughs> Got her. Whoa. Okay, stay. Come here, baby chicky, chicky, chicky. Come here. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was scary. Don't go inside. Please don't go inside. Go back inside. Go back inside. Oh, come on. Oh. Good, get in, in, in. And you guys saw only goats were bad. <laughs> no. Chickens too, you're so annoying. Please don't go there. <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute. Get in there, get in there. See, I'm a herding machine. Get in there. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Oh. Oh. Anyway, welcome to today's video. <laughs> when you start every morning chasing animals, hurting animals, it's like a fast way to become awake. <laughs> Sam just went to do chores. I'm gonna brush my girl today and spend some time with my horses today. It's supposed to start uh, this huge storm. It's gonna rain. So I want to, I want to finish cleaning up some of the stuff that I have raked up outside. You guys saw yesterday, we have been starting our spring clean on the farm. So exciting. The horses are all making their way out to their nice new round bale. I can hear Sam's music blaring. Hi ponies, you're all getting a brush today. Don't you worry, you're such a dirty girl. I also wanna clean up this mess. What I was saying before is that, oh, Gabby and so we had a crazy busy weekend. We didn't vlog the whole thing. But on Thursday, we had a lot of things going on. So it was a really hard day to vlog and the girls were busy, Sophie especially. Friday, we were in Toronto the whole day, super busy. Saturday, my grandkids and my family were here for Easter. So the girls had to help. Like they had to, on Friday, they cleaned all the dog poop up in the yard. On Saturday, they helped clean the whole house. Like. It was a lot. So today, and then yesterday, they helped clean up the outside of the barn. So today I said, sleep in, relax, do whatever you want. It's your one day to just relax and have fun and be a kid. Filled up, well I didn't fill up, but I put a little bit of water in the pool last night so that Posy Pig can come down here and spend the day down here. I'm gonna let her spend the day down here and she can swim if she wants. Uh, last night after everybody left me, I raked up this whole area, so I gotta get rid of all this today. But I want to get everything up off the ground so that when the rain comes in a couple of days that we can get green grass. I'm ready for some green grass. I can see little bits of green starting to pop up. I don't know what it is, but when it's cold and dark and dreary, I feel cold and dark and dreary and it unmotivates me in a huge way. And I know a lot of people suffer like that. I need to move to a warmer climate. But when the sun comes out and I can get outside and it's sunny out, I feel invigorated and adventurous and I have so much energy and I get so excited to be out here doing stuff. So that's what today is, that's what yesterday was. And I am never, I'm never happier than when I'm out working and doing stuff with the animals. That's one thing about me is that I like to be busy. <laughs> I'm always afraid there's gonna be a raccoon in that trap. I like to be busy and animals afford me that opportunity. When I was young, I loved having my kids because 
I like to be busy. I like to be doing all the stuff you need to do to have kids, to keep them happy and, and, and busy. When they kind of grew up, animals kind of took their place. So last night I washed all of our feed pans that were for the duck and for the goose. So I'm gonna use this today because I'm short on feed pans. Someone mentioned that they thought I was giving the goats too much alfalfa and that it would make them fat. The truth is, or at least my truth is, because everybody has their own way of doing things and that's okay, it's okay to do it your own way. But my truth, or my way, my belief, is that goats need alfalfa. It's the only hay that they really need, minus the boys. The boys don't really need it as much. It's really hard to get alfalfa hay here. At least we've never found anybody local to us that sells it, and or that we can find. So the easiest solution for us is to give them pellets. But they definitely need it. It's the kind of hay that their body thrives off of. It's got the right nutrition. Little Cricket is looking, look at that. She's stretching out. She's growing, you guys. She's getting longer, so the girl on our channel, the really kind girl that is into goats, and she's our resident goat expert, and she told me to wait and watch Cricket grow up before I decide if she's got bad confirmation, and she is growing, and she is changing, and I noticed the same thing with little Lola, who is still short, but her legs have grown a huge amount, and her torso is even growing a lot, lengthwise. So I believe, I'm a believer. Get out, stay out. Here come the last two. Oh, little Winston, you guys know him. We love him so much. Sophie loves him. He's the most lovable little boy. Come on. He is six weeks old now. The big six. And in two more weeks, his time in the, in the herd is gone. It's over until he's about 10 to 12 weeks. And once he gets that age, he'll get banded and he will be able to join the herd actually about a month maybe even two months after he gets banded he'll join the herd we have to give him some time for things to settle so that he's not fertile so because of that i feel like we should start the weeding process early i don't just want to cut him off and be like hey you can't have any more milk so what i think i'm going to do is so starting tonight i'm going to put him in with lola and cricket and i'm going to leave him in there at night even if he jumps out, I'm gonna find a way so that he can't jump out. And I'm gonna start separating him at night and then I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna uh, start milking. We're gonna start milking. We're gonna milk his mom in the morning and then put him out here for the next two weeks. So that's gonna be like a two week process of starting to wean him. First I'm gonna weigh him and make sure that he weighs over 20 pounds because that's the criteria to start weaning your goats is 20 pounds. Single babies, especially bucks, often hit 20 pounds really quickly. And I'm sure he's like 40 pounds. Like he is a heavy baby. But we're gonna weigh him and just to double check because you can never tell. We're gonna start, we're gonna start the part of our milking journey. Get out, come on, out you go. This way, come on, out. I have been washing all of our feed pans. We often rinse them out with just plain water. But every month, I take them up to the house and sterilize them and clean them up so that they're like pristine. I do the same with the horses buckets too and I might actually do those today as well. But most importantly, I wanna get outside and do all the outside stuff early today before the rain start. My grandkids played out here in all the stuff. I haven't even set up like a little playground area yet, but they played out here so long on Easter so I'm excited to get this whole area I don't know I feel like maybe I'll put it up here I feel like I'll put it down there they used that little house like it was a playhouse so I kind of want to use it as that I want to get a slide to go out of it I do want to get all this stuff this is one of Sam's junk areas I want to get it cleaned up burn all this wood all the wood behind I like to be able to look out here and see the horses so I want to get that done I have so many things on my list Oh, the girls came in. I saw them outside. Somebody must have been mean to them. Poor babies. It's their normal. They come in here and eat. Here, pass me those buckets. I'll wash them. Um, will you help me catch roosters, please? I just need to. I just need a little help. I've been washing all the buckets, so it's time. 
I'm short on feed bucket. We got that feed bucket. I know. We have the blue one. I need to wash it. Gabby won't even let me wash it. No. Don't even touch it. That's Chino's, and we're keeping that. With all his slobber and all his germs on it, like, it's filled with all his stuff. She's still, I don't know, you guys. Like, still, almost a year later. And, well, actually, I think it's September, but so many months later and I still can't talk about it without crying I did watch a video of them this morning and I didn't cry anyways but I cry about the whole Gabby thing because Gabby still talks about him like even to her friends and other people she talks about him like he's still alive and she like it's weird but it's it's emotional so emotional way too emotional for today because today is gonna be a good day so one way that we generate income on our farm we have a lot of different ways and I don't think we've really largely shared that with you but I think we're gonna try and share more of it with you guys this year so that there's less confusion but one of the ways that we generate income is we hatch chickens we sell baby chicks we raise up chickens we sell full-grown chickens we sell hatching eggs we sell eggs to our friends and family. And that's just one way to generate income. And Sophie makes a really good amount of money every single year. You guys know we chose to uh, hatch up our chickens in the winter so that they'd be laying by spring. Um, because a laying hen is like worth between 35 to 60 bucks. So um, today, the last of our roosters are leaving. And some other chickens that Sophie sold uh, went yesterday. So we are far into the chicken selling part of the year Are your shoes on backwards nope. oh you just walk you just they look backwards all right so this is my plan so i think we take all the roosters and put them in here so when the guy comes to pick them up they're ready i forgot eggs out here yesterday all right so i have all the roosters that are left to go with either guys only taking a couple so they're in here you guys know the mean rooster the rooster that literally it bites me every time I come in here and Sophie is terrified of um, he's gone he already left thankfully he's gone he has left the building I'm so glad I feel safer now another big job is to come in here and clean out our chicken coop I want to get it all freshened up for summer I have about 15 chickens this year Sophie will probably sell a couple more we usually like to stay around 12 chickens for our space and just for the eggs that we like to keep but we have 15 um, we may end up keeping them. I don't know, but we need two roosters for 15 chickens. Last year, we noticed that our to fertilize our eggs, our success rate was really low because our one rooster was not able to fertilize all of our chickens. So this year, we're keeping two roosters. Sophie's two favorite, and if they end up being super territorial and chasing her around and trying to kill her, well, that's just the nature of the game. I also want to wash all my feed things for the chickens. Get it all put away. All right, so I have all these to wash, all these to wash. I'm gonna count to three and put these all back and they'll be clean. One, two. All right, so I got all the horse ones clean and then I got all the goat one's clean but I had some grain still in one so anyway everything's all clean and ready to go back I'm gonna try and leave her down here I'm gonna also come down here and do my work down here and like keep an eye on her all the goats are over there hiding from her and there she goes That's the welcoming party. Those are our three nicest goats. Ellie. Searching for something that ain't lost. Have a god our lines cross. We're wasting time with stuff that doesn't really matter. <laughs> While wishing for something better. I try to fix things. Understandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say, Do you feel the same way? Maybe you don't want to know, but you don't see what you have in front of you. Or maybe I'm not enough for you. So maybe I should go. If I had known from the start, this wouldn't have ended with broken hearts. 
clean the chicken coop and it is a lot of work I am not gonna be able to walk for a week tomorrow I will be broken so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clean all this out we're gonna use this pole here we're gonna build another we're gonna build another pen from there to there it's gonna be like um, maybe a silky pen I don't know and then we're gonna keep this brooder which sucks because it takes up so much room I'm going to sweep out all this area here and I'm going to move it up right in front of this door maybe so that it's up close here and then we have more space back there but that and I'd like to paint in here and get all the cobwebs down which I'm going to do right now look at that little rooster up there <laughs> the chickens are so calm now that we got rid of all the roosters We've been getting rid of the roosters over the last couple of weeks and we only have two left. I am going to end today's video because it's going to be too long. But I'm going to continue to work on this. I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. But I feel really good that we got this done. Don't you know that you're beautiful?